fatty nutrients like the pigments that we just talked about and essential fatty acids. Those are, that's the secret to healthy, beautiful skin. Nobody should need a moisturizer. You know, I, when I do my talks on the skin, I, I say, how many people have dry skin? Everybody raises their hand. Dry skin is probably the most ubiquitous skin condition that uh, anybody has in this country, probably and around the world. Yet, Sean, we sell uh, 10 to 14 billion, billion with a B, billion dollars a year in moisturizing creams every year. People have moisturizers in their in their bathroom cabinet, in their locker uh, locker at the gym, in their uh, kitchen, in their office, in their purse, in their car, and you know they have moisturizers everywhere. But everybody has dry skin. Why is that? It's because dry skin is a nutritional issue, just like sensitive skin is a nutritional issue. Just like skin that burns readily can be protected by nutrition. So if you have dry skin or if you have a skin condition, focus on fats particularly essential fatty acids, toxicity that gets into the bloodstream through a leaky gut. Toxicity that gets into the bloodstream through a leaky gut can result in eczemas. It can result in psoriasis. It can result in uh, uh, rosacea. It can result in forms of acne. Make sure that you're using nutrients that stabilize the growth of skin cells. When skin cells grow too fast, they can cause plugs, and that's one of the causes of acne. When sebocytes, are, which are a, a, a type of skin cell, the, skin, the cells that make sebum, when they pro hyperproliferate, they can make the skin oily. Cortisol or stress hormone can make the skin oily. Hypothyroidism can make the skin dry. So working with the hormones, working with the digestive system, working with nutritional supplementation, treating the skin, Sean, like it's a fully fledged organ of the body. We sometimes sometimes think of the skin as a canvas or as an envelope on the outside of the body. Like there's our body and then there's something's covering it up. No, the skin, everybody says, and everybody knows, the skin is the body's largest organ. It's like your liver or your heart or your spleen or your lungs or your brain or your intestine. It deserves the same kind of respect and the same kind of health treatment that any other organ of the body does. And that, to me, as a pharmacist who practices uh, nutritional pharmacy, that means good nutrition internally, staying away from problem foods, whether it's processed oils or, or fried fats, as we said earlier, or allergenic foods, foods that you have uh, allergic reactions to, lectins and beans and dairy and eggs. So many people have the reactive skin because of the foods they're eating. So staying away from problem foods, using nutritional supplementation, and as far as topical skincare goes, the best and the most important topical ingredients are going to be nutrients. That's why with my True Skin Health products, they're topical nutritional supplements. Vitamin C, fat soluble. Uh, vitamin A in its retinol or retinoic acid form. Plant-derived minerals. Vitamins D and E and A and K. All of these nutrients do for your skin what they do for the inside of your body. They support growth. They suppress uh, sensitivities and immune reactions. They're important for the production of various connective tissue fibers and uh, goos, polysaccharides like hyaluronic acid, for example, and collagen and elastin. Topical nutrients are by far the most important skincare ingredients you could ever use. 